A lot of women neglect the beauty of dating a struggling man, but that's where the foundation of trust is built. The loyalty, the commitment, because he's not trying to win you over with any money because he doesn't have it. <laughs> he's going to win you over with effort, consistency, and that comes with respect. See, you only value and respect something that you had to work hard to get. He understands the sweat, the long days, the living paycheck to paycheck, the goal setting, working overtime just to take you somewhere nice, etc. That's where 90% of the time the guy with wealth falls short. He has no respect for you. He didn't put in any effort with you. He didn't have to work to build a foundation with you. He simply bought you. To him, you're just another prize on the shelf, something to pull out when he wants to play with it and throw back when he's done. That's what most wealthy men do. They buy things because they can, not because they need it. Hell, sometimes not even because they want it, just because they can. They're more intrigued with the fact that they can buy you instead of actually being intrigued with you. To him, you come at a monetary cost, and he can buy a thousand more of you because you come a dime a dozen. You're nothing special. But with the struggling man, your love was bought with authenticity and genuineness that was built on solid ground, and that's the beauty within the struggle. Women always look for the final result instead of working with a man together to create a result. They hang around the finish line and pick the winners, but the winners treat them as disposable garbage. They want men who are loyal to them, but they can't be loyal to a man who is trying to improve himself to take care of a family someday. In the end, these modern women eventually become victims of their own entitlement, hoping to be chosen by a successful man who doesn't want them for relationships. It's too late now. I genuinely don't give a flying fuck what anyone else has to say. I will fight for my relationship until my dying breath. I will fight until there's no fucking fight left to give. And it doesn't mean I'm weak and it doesn't mean that I've lost respect for myself. It shows that I give a lot of fucks, all right? I care about that person. It shows that I have emotion and courage and I will fight for something if I believe in fighting for it. Too many people nowadays just give up and I am not giving up. If people think that it makes you look weak. I would rather be perceived weak knowing that I tried everything I could in my power to save the relationship instead of thinking what if. If you're in your 20s and you're in a relationship, you do have to remember, we are still so young. We're still so young. We're still kids, basically. We're still learning how to communicate properly. We're still learning how to actually love someone properly and in the right way and healthy way. I would rather go through hell and back. I would rather go through the worst patches of rough that you could ever think of with one person than I would starting with someone new. That is the problem with this generation. We give up so easily. Why? Why? We shouldn't. If you love someone, why aren't you fighting for him? It doesn't make you look bad. If you feel strong enough for fighting for someone, do it. Fucking do it because they clearly mean a lot to you. Why would you let that go? If I had a dream career, I wouldn't give up when shit gets fucking hard. I would put in more effort to make sure I reach that end goal, which is the same as a relationship. Can you just imagine that feeling after all the hardships that you've been through throughout the years? You have your home together, you have children, and you can sit there and quite literally say, we made it. We fucking made it. That's what I want. That's what I this is what you call a loyal woman who is willing to fight for her relationship, marriage or family. Other women will break off their relationship, get a divorce or destroy their family for their own selfish desires. This is one of the many reasons why men stop committing to women. Because modern women have no sense of duty or loyalty about them. There's really no point committing to a woman who doesn't value true commitment. They desire the wedding without the marriage the ring without the vows, the children without the secure family. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Men are giving up on dating. And one of the reasons why is because of women's expectations. One of the main reasons why women have such unrealistic expectations is because of social media, and let me tell you why. So women are often fueled by what they see on social media. It seems like everywhere you look online, there are images of perfect couples, luxury, exotic vacation, lavish gifts. And this is very, very toxic because this is not even real. It's just social media. And these things create an unrealistic standard for women because they expect that from a partner. And men feel like they need to be wealthy or constantly shower women with gifts to be able to measure up. And it's a lot of pressure. It can leave men thinking that they'll never be able to meet these expectations. 
And as a result, men are just giving up on dating because they feel like they can compete um, against those fantasy relationships that we see online. And I think it's very, very dangerous because it can lead to self-esteem issues as men feel like they're never gonna be good enough. And this can result in anxiety, depression. So yeah, it's a very, very concerning problem. Although social media's depiction of relationships and lavish lifestyle is mostly fake, the problem is some women do have access to that type of lavish lifestyle. All they have to do is throw themselves at celebrities and social media influencers by sending them a direct message and they could get a reply back. Although these successful men will never commit to them, these women still boast and have entitlement because they got pumped and dumped by these men. In the end, modern women only destroy themselves because they gain unrealistic expectations and delusional standards, but they still get a small taste of that dream of being with a hyper-successful man. On the other hand, some men do feel like they need to become hyper-successful in order to get women. But the real question is, which women? If men understood that the types of women who chase after that type of lavish lifestyle are no good regardless, they may have more realistic expectations about which type of women they should date. Although it's extremely rare to find good women who are not influenced by social media or feminism, they are still out there. They're just more difficult to find. I know, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Who are more loyal, men or women? I think men if they are in love. Why do you think so? Because women often are searching for missing things in their life in other men's. If men are in love, they're giving everything to women. How old are you? I'm 22. How, how old would your perfect boyfriend be? Uh, plus five years. <laughs> so plus five years minimum and to above? What's the limit above? The limit I think is eight years. Everything above is too much. Your career or a relationship to a man? What's more important to you? relationship for sure so as we can see here although this woman is really young she has a really good head on her shoulders and values relationships i have no doubt that she will find a good man who will get into a relationship with her because when men find the needle in the haystack they don't want to let it go this is why all the good women are already taken and the remaining women belong to the streets you can say that again 